But we have Femi Adetola right here with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm very well. Good to have you live with us this morning. Yes. All right. We hear that um, the Olympics have been postponed. And of course, uh, there's a new date that's been given. It's been starting in July. How did the association, the Olympic Committee, take this one? Ah, well, uh, we have to take it in good faith because uh, we, 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 re we understand uh, what happened, why it was postponed. I understand because it's good to be alive than to want to go to Olympics and come back dead. You understand? So since it's postponed, uh, they will have to work. We we'll have to work towards it. How we can have a, a good show uh, in Japan. Now the the athletes, because uh, we know that some of the, these athletes were readily uh, prepared for this year. Now going into 2021, how are we sure that these athletes will be in good shape to represent Nigeria? Uh, well, uh, it's preparation. They have to prepare towards it because uh, what their mind has been made up before is, uh, you know, to prepare towards the games and in July uh, to be in full flight so that so that uh, they can have uh, they can pick up. You understand? Because they have they have the time they they, they pick up. But as it is now, I think uh, it, it would be good for us to adequately prepare the athletes. Uh, towards the games because uh, we are looking at uh, four months before now, but now we are talking about 16 months. So we, we just have to streamline whatever things they are going to do from between now and then so that uh, they, they can be re uh, fully ready and fit uh, for the Olympics. Uh, you know, it's not, it's not quite easy, uh, quite all right, but you just have to follow uh, the, the, the guidelines of what uh, their coaches and what WHO and what I will see be given to them because we are working with all these people and uh, we have to follow the rules and regulations of what we have on ground. All right, lastly, um, I, I'd like to know, I don't know if you want to touch on this, uh, about the Olympic touch. Um, some days ago, we heard it landed in Japan. What do you think will happen with the Olympic touch? Will it be sent back or will it have to remain in Japan till 2021? Uh, interestingly, interestingly, where it landed, uh, it landed not with, not with the fun fair, but we still have about 50,000 people around, uh, you know, to look from different places, to look at the Olympic touch. Uh, they, they said it's, it's been on, it's, it's been lit, and uh, it will be there for that 16 months. Nothing changing it. So it, it's been lit, so it has to be there. Hmm. All right, uh, that's an interesting one uh, right there, talking about the Olympic touch. But we'd like to thank you for speaking with us this morning. Thank you. Good morning. All right, that was um, Femi Adetula, the PRO for the Nigeria Olympic Committee, speaking with us on and uh, also giving us updates about uh, the Olympics Committee and the plans in preparation for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Yes, it's to be called the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, but it's be held in 2021 in the month of July.